آئیے آئیے خدا کے کلام کی برکت کو ماننا شروع کیجئے آئیے خدا کے کلام کی برکت کو ماننا شروع کیجئے آئیے پورے طور پر خدا کے حضور جھک جائیے آئیے پورے طور پر خدا کے حضور جھک جائیے
That changed my whole life. Because you see, so many times we try to do for God. But God doesn't need us. But God desires us. The one thing in life that God wants from you is your heart. He wants you to love him and to glorify him. And we do this by being obedient. By living a holy life and by shining our light in this dark world. All we need to do is die to self so the goodness of God can live through us. The Bible says I have been crucified with Christ. And yet I live. But not I, but it is Christ who lives in me. And he is working in us to perfect his holiness. Go to your Bible. We're going to read a couple of scriptures tonight. We're going to go to the book of Psalms, if you have your Bible, Psalms, 126, 126, verse 5 and 6. और पांचवें वर्ष में देखा आज भी देखा है जो आंसुओं के साथ बोते हैं वो खुशी के साथ काटेंगे जो रोता हुआ बीज होने जाता है होने जाता है वो अपने कोने लिए शर्मान होगा। I love this this passage of scripture। और मैं इस आयत को बहुत ज़्यादा प्यार करता हूँ। I want to help you understand what it means। और मैं आपको समझाना चाहता हूँ कि इसका मतलब क्या है। So many of us as Christians still aren't experiencing the goodness of God। और जब हम पसी होते हैं तो हम चाहते हैं कि हम खुदा की जो खास सारियाँ उसको महसूस करें। We love God। हम खुदा से प्यार करते हैं। But we still are suffering so badly। पर फिर भी हम बहुत सारी मुश्किलात का सामना करते हैं। And we say God, I know you're good, but where are you in my life? हम कहते हैं खुदा तो बहुत ज़्यादा अच्छा है, पर तुम मेरी ज़िंदगी में क्यों नहीं हैं? I believe what the Bible says, but how does this apply to me? और मैं ईमान रखता हूँ कि तेरा कलाम क्या कहता है, कहता है, पर ये मेरी ज़िंदगी में क्यों नहीं आ रहा? And I believe that you can do these things. But how can I know that you will? और मेरा ईमान है कि तुम मेरी ज़िंदगी में ये काम कर सकते हैं, पर मैं ये कैसे जानूँगा कि तुम ये करेगा? The power of God in your life is found through prayer. और जब आप दुआ करेंगे तो खुदा की तुम्हारे खुदा की तुम्हारे आपकी ज़िंदगी में पाई जाएगी. The best encounters that I have had with God in my life. Have been when I was on my face before the Lord. और जब भी मैं खुदा से मिला हूँ अपनी पूरी ज़िंदगी में जितनी बार वो मिला हूँ तब भी मैं दुआ करता होता हूँ. And I was in my prayer closet crying out to God. और मैं दुआ कर रहा था और मैं खुदा के आगे रो रहा था. And I remember one time I was in prayer and I said, God, I'm so excited to be serving you. I can't wait to be out doing ministry again. और मैं खुदा से कह रहा था कि खुदा मैं बहुत है खुश हूँ कि मैं तेरे लिए काम करने वाला हूँ और मैं दूसरी जगहों पर जाके तेरी खिदमत करने वाला हूँ। And this sounded really good. और ये बहुत एक अच्छी बात थी। But once again God rebuked me. और खुदा ने मुझ पर ये बात कही। And he said Philip. और खुदा ने कहा फिलिप। I want you to be out doing ministry. And be excited to get back on your knees before my throne. और खुदा ने मुझसे कहा तो जा खिदमत कर पर मैं ये भी चाहता तो फिर से दोबारा आ और रुकना के बाद आ और दुआ कर. Did that translate right? Yeah. 
Do you understand? We're so excited to do for God. But God just wants us on our face before His throne. To love and to worship Him. To pour our hearts out in prayer. The Bible says that if you sow in tears, you will reap in joy. Our prayers are like little seeds going into the ground. And you say, Father, my, my mother is sick and it's a little seed in the ground. I need you to help her. Father, I need money for school. I need you to provide and, and I need you to bring provision into my life. Father, I need money for transportation. Please help me. Father, I need money for medicine. Please help me. And each one of these prayers are little seeds in the ground. And you have to water the seeds with your tears. And you have to grow in the spirit. And you gotta cry out to God. You see in the Old Testament in the temple there was uh, there, there was this thing called the horns of the altar and people would grab a hold of the horns to find mercy. And we gotta do the same thing in prayer. We gotta grab a hold of the horns of the altar and we gotta cry out to God with everything inside of us. If you sow in tears, you will reap in joy. Over and over again, we ask the Lord for the things that we need. And we walk in faith, believing for His provision. And while we are waiting for the answers to our prayers, we let the goodness of God live through us. You see, the Bible says faith is what we cannot see. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. If we can see the answer, we don't need faith. But faith is something that we walk in when we can't see any possible solution to our problem. And you say, oh God, I don't know what you're going to do, but I know you're going to do something. And you pray, and you pray, and you pray, and you pray, and you you ask of God, and you believe by faith, and you walk in the goodness of God, and you water the seeds with your tears, and in due season you will reap the harvest. You will come again with your shivs and you will cut the fruit from the vine. And you will rejoice at the goodness of God in your life. And He will give you a testimony. And you'll be able to pick the fruit from the tree. From... Let me explain. The seeds will grow into a fruit tree and you'll be able to pick the fruit and taste of the goodness of God. Go to Psalms. We're going back to our Bible. Psalms 34, 8. 
اور زبور کی کتاب میں جائیں گے ہم دوبارہ اور اس کا چونکس بات اور اس کی آٹھ آج میں It says, taste and see that the Lord is good. When is the last time that you tasted of the goodness of God in your life? When is the last time that you went running through the village ready to testify of the great things that God is doing in your life? اور موقع وہ آخری ٹائم تھا اگری وقت تھا جب آپ نے خدا کو آسمانے کی کوشش کی تھی God wants to do this for you اور خدا چاہتے ہیں کہ آپ اس کو آسمائیں I promise you میں آپ سے وعدہ کرتا ہوں If you pray in faith, believe it اگر آپ ایمان کے ساتھ دعا کریں گے You will see the manifest You will see the goodness of God in your life اور آپ دیکھیں گے خدا آپ کی زندگیوں میں کام کرے گا You will see the fruit on the tree اور آپ درخت پر پھل دیکھیں گے and you'll be able to take that fruit and taste of his goodness اور آپ پھل کو لے سکیں گے اور اس کو ٹیسٹ کر سکیں گے and other people will find strength from your testimony اور جو دوسرے لوگ ہیں لوگ ہوں کے ان کو بھی آپ کی قوائے سے قوت ملے گی and when you pray for the things that you need in the future you'll pray with greater faith اور جب آپ کو یہ پھل مل جائے گا اور آپ کو جو چیزیں مستقبل میں چاہیے ہوں گے تو آپ کی ماں کی ساتھ دعا کریں گے اور میں آپ سے پوچھنا چاہتا ہوں اور آپ کا ایمان ہے کہ خدا اچھا ہے اور یہاں آپ جانتے ہیں کہ خدا اچھا ہے اور میں چاہتا ہوں کہ آپ ایک چیز کو سمجھیں اور یہ ایک چیز ہے کہ ہمیں بس خدا خدا کی جو مہربانی ہے اپنے پاسٹر کی زندگی میں دیکھنی چاہیے اور یہ نہیں ہو رہا چاہیے کہ آپ خدا کی مہربانی صرف اپنے پاسٹر میں دیکھیں اور خدا کی مہربانی آپ کو اپنی زندگی میں دیکھنے کی ضرورت ہے ہر دن ہر لبہ وہ اچھا خدا ہے اور وہ ہمارے ساتھ کچھ کرنا چاہتا ہے اور ہم وہ سائی بندیاں کرتے ہیں اور وہ سارے ہم بہت سارے ہم بہت فیصل لیتے ہیں اور ہم بہت جگہ ہم پاک رہنے کی ضرورت کرتے ہیں We make our best effort to be obedient اور ہم بہت جگہ ایسا تھا کہ ہم تابعے دا رہنے کی کوشش کرتے ہیں And yet we fail continually اور ہم پر بھی پھر بھی ہم فیل ہو جاتے ہیں چیز میں Don't listen, I don't want you to misunderstand me اور میں یہ نہیں چاہتا کہ آپ مجھے غلط سمجھیں It's very important that we live a holy life پر یہ بہت ضروری ہے کہ ہم ایک پاک زندگی جیئے That we be obedient اور ہم تابعے دائی سے زندگی جیئے But the goodness of God does not hinge on your perfection اور جو خدا کی مہربانی ہے وہ آپ کو جب آپ صحیح رہتے ہیں تب ہی نہیں ملتی God is good all the time خدا ہمیشہ ہی اچھا ہوتا ہے Because he cannot exist any other way اور کیونکہ خدا کے پاس وہ کوئی راستہ ہی نہیں ہے کیونکہ خدا ہمیشہ ہی اچھا خدا ہے So tonight when I pray for you اور جب آج رات میں آپ کے لئے دعا کروں گا Are you ready to experience the goodness of God? اور کیا آپ کے آج ہیں کہ آپ خدا کے روح کو آپ کی اپنی زندگی میں تجربہ کریں Are you ready to encounter His grace, mercy and love? آپ کے آج ہیں کہ آپ خدا کو فضل اپنی زندگیوں میں دیں You have to open your heart آپ کو اپنی دلوں کو کھولنے کی ضرورت ہے If you doubt اگر آپ کو شک کریں گے If you have unbelief اور اگر آپ ایمان نہیں رکھیں گے If you are afraid, God cannot move in your life the way that He wants to. Do not close yourself off from the moving of His Spirit. The Bible says, quench not the Spirit. اور خدا کا نام بیان کرتے ہیں کہ ہمیں ہر وقت روح میں کھلنے کی ضرورت ہے Amen Do you understand? آپ کو سمجھ آئے God is good خدا ایک اچھا خدا ہے Amen Amen No You know how you say God is good all the time? Yeah Anyway Let's pray ابھی ہم دعا کریں گے 
Abba Father, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, oh Jesus, we praise you, God. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you would bless these people, heal them, deliver them, cleanse them. I pray that you would bless each one of them. Father, I pray that you would prepare their hearts. I pray, oh God, that each and every one of them would be ready to receive from you tonight. We thank you for what you're going to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Tell them to stay seated. Amen. Tell them to stay seated. But if anyone is not saved and wants to follow Jesus tonight, to stand up and raise their hand. भाई कह रहे हैं अगर कोई ऐसा शख्स है जो मौजूद है जिन्होंने आज तक अपना दिल यीशु को नहीं दिया और यीशु को अपनी जिंदगी में चाहते हैं तो वो अपनी जगह पर खड़ा हो सकता है पर वही लोग खड़े हों जिन्होंने आज तक यीशु को अपना नजात दिया का बोल नहीं किया हालालुया हालालुया we're all Christians then. You know, you have a relationship with God. You know Jesus. And Jesus knows you. If that's you, then you're good. But if you don't know Jesus, it's important that you stand up. अगर आप यीशु को नहीं जानते तो ये जरूरी है कि आप खड़े हो और अगर आप यीशु को चाहते हैं तो फिर भी आपको खड़ा होने की जरूरत है। We do not know when we will stand before God। अगर आपको यीशु के सामने खड़ा होने की जरूरत है तो आप खड़े खड़े हो जाएं। So I pray that you would be bold। और मैं दुआ करूँगा कि आप होशियार रहें। And if you don't know him, just stand up and pray with us। अगर आप यीशु को नहीं � Hallelujah. And I want you to know that salvation is a daily commitment. That God's spirit has to be inside of your soul. And this prayer is very important. But it doesn't mean that you just pray and go continue to live however you want. People need to see that your life has been changed. And the power of God can, can help you do this. Alright, let's up your hand and let's pray. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died for my sins. I believe on the third day you were raised from the dead. Jesus, I confess you as Lord. I give you my heart. My soul. My body. My mind and my strength. Help me to love you every day. Help me to be holy even as you are holy. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let me just pray. Father, I pray that you would bless these people that have stood up and raised their hands to be saved and be won into the kingdom of God. I thank you for the opportunity for us to be able to minister to them. 
I pray that you would put your spirit inside of them. I pray that you would bless them. I pray that you would empower them to turn from sin and to walk in holiness. To love you with all of the heart. To be uh, mindful of the things of God. To study the word and to show themselves approved. To walk in the wisdom and understanding and knowledge and discernment of the spirit. Father, I pray in, in the name of Jesus that every day there would be a living testimony unto you poured out for your glory. We thank you for what you're going to do in their lives. We thank you for the testimonies that they're going to bring into the village. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.